So, what is up, guys? Welcome back to Technically Steve. I am your host, Stephen J. So, I, Technically Steve, am on a mission. I'm on a quest. Not just a mission, but a quest. What is that quest? Well, I'm glad you asked. I need to find the perfect meatball sandwich and the perfect hamburger. I can't get a good meatball sandwich. Technically, Steve. Years ago, I used to go to this uh, pizza restaurant. It was owned by these two old Italian ladies. And they would make these homemade meatballs. They didn't have them every day, so they would actually call me in my office and say, Hey, Steve, are we making the meatball? Today, you come. And I came over and I had it and they were so good. It was on a, on a toasted roll with the meatballs, freshly meatballs. And you could tell a homemade meatball. And it had the, the Parmesan cheese and it was toasted. And it was so good. And ever since then, I can't find a perfect meatball sandwich. I can't find it. So I am on a quest to find that sandwich. And my first stop today, I went to a place called Wawa. W-A-W-A, Wawa, Wawa, Wawa. If you're in the Northeast, it's it's pretty big in New York, uh, Philadelphia, New Jersey area. There's tons of Wawas. They sell gas. They sell all the, the food. And today I ordered a meatball parm. And here is the sandwich. It's They call it a shorty. There's what I got on it. It is a meatball, shorty roll, provolone cheese, toasted, grated parm, craft quick sheet, whatever that is. But anyway, I also got baked lays or baked hers. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, lay people, but I got the hers only 77 calories or 77% less fat than a regular chip 110 calories per serving then I had another dilemma I didn't know what to drink I didn't want lemonade or do I get iced tea lemonade iced tea lemonade iced tea so I got lemonade and iced tea it's half and half they cut it right down the middle make it half and half Put that aside here. So should we dig into the sandwich? We shall. No. Okay. Open it up now. Okay. So here's the sandwich. And there's the drop on my pants. And it has this thing on it, kind of covering. It is, looks good. Break that in half. All right, so, ooh, the cheese. So here it is. It is the Wawa meatball sandwich so there's you got the philly rolls and then you got the meatball oh yeah so yeah the bread is nice and toasty because i had it toasted Cheese is cheesy, but the big question is, how is the meatball? Sorry, all that sun. There you go. Does it taste like the homemade meatballs? It's good, but it doesn't taste like the meatballs that I had years and years ago that are homemade, that can only be made at home. This is very good, but 
has that processed meatball taste. And you can tell that the meatballs are perfectly round. That means they're made by a machine. Real meatballs are not made by machine. You can tell they're crumpled up and they have more of a spice than Italian. But this is good. On a scale of one to 10 on a meatball sandwich, I'm gonna have to say it's a, uh, it's good. I'd say to give it about a 6.9, maybe seven. Not the best meatball sandwich, but not the worst. And let's give it a shot with the half and half. See which I like half better. Do I like the I like the I think I like the iced tea half better than the lemonade. But it's all jumbled together, so you really can't tell. But yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. And uh, just to finish it off, we might as well try our baked hers chips. I got the, um, what did I get? The barbecue flavored. There it is. It's a baked chip. It looks like there's a nice amount of barbecue on that. Mmm. Gluten free. You don't want that gluten. That's good. They seem to be. They made the bag a little bigger. And the chip's a little chippier. Mm, that's pretty good. Could bring chips back. You got a question. But there you go. That'll do it. So remember. Mmm. Join me on my quest to find the first, bur the best burger, and the best meatball sandwich. Remember, give us a thumbs up, a like, hit that notification, and subscribe if you already have not. We'll see you again. Technically, Steve.